The first ride to work of 2017, I couldn't think of a more appropriate driver. A new team for you, Clint Boyer, a new commute to work, and you've got a new truck. Tell us about this thing. Well, first of all, the truck, man. Uh, you know, this 17 Ford F-250s, it's awesome. You know, living on this farm like this, having cattle and stuff like that. I mean, I've already, we've had a load of hay on it. You know, who doesn't like a diesel? A big, bad turbo diesel. Not too bad being with Ford just yet, is it? No, it's great. The culture is awesome. You know, the fit factor couldn't be better for me. I love going in and it's just a lot of fun to go in there and see see those guys digging and working hard to, to make sure that we look good. Speaking of the race shop, you want to go to work? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. So how are you feeling? Invigorated? I mean, this new drive. To I don't your use shop. the word invigorating Why? ever. So I feel awesome. Let's use yeah. awesome. All right. Can, all we, right. can we simplify? I felt like last year wasn't the Clint Boyer we all know. Not the fun having Clint Boyer. Obviously, last year, you know, if you had to reflect back on it, I mean, was it worth it? Yes. And I'd have done it over again. Did it suck? Yes. Yeah. But hey, man. I mean, we've all had jobs we didn't necessarily like. He is uh, pretty disgusted right now, I can tell you that. The hardest part about last year is knowing what's ahead and just that carrot dangling in front of you and you just kidding reach the damn thing, you know, and putting in your time. There's a lot of good things that happened last year. We brought in, you know, a, a new daughter to, to the world and, and that was something that was ultra cool. What's the best part about being a dad? Interaction, watching them grow up, holy cow, you know, at two and a half years old now, it's just amazing starting to have a conversation with him, starting to try to pull one overs on you to get what he wants, you know. You're like, son, nah, not even close, not gonna happen, you know, but he'll still try. I'm getting married in less than two months. What do you think about that? You're screwed. Why, all the things that? that, like your grandfather, all of his buddies, all them old codgers that always said, boy, enjoy it while you can. <laughs> this ring gets on your finger, it's heavy as hell, and you work for them. What would Laura say if she heard you saying that? Just laugh and, <laughs> and say, that's you damn right. I heard the story, you got signed by RCR, Richard, and he called you. Well, first of all, I hung up on him. Yeah, you hung up on well, Richard Childress. That phone call as it happened, standing at 3 o'clock in the afternoon in a body shop. I mean, hey, let's face it. We were trying to figure out in the pool whose turn it was to, to buy beer that afternoon, right? And then you get a phone call. I get a phone call, and it's Richard Childress. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, right. You know, looking around, thinking somebody was putting me up to it. Y'all get Boyer. Y'all get Boyer. Don't let him do that stupid. He's running down the race. I don't know where he's at. I mean, he's running down Pitt Road. A dead sprint by Clint Boyer. Obviously wants to have a conversation, perhaps, with Jeff Gordon. Did you ever forgive him? What did it take to forgive another racer that did you wrong? You don't ever forgive something like that because it was to wait to the end of the year and, and do it when there's so much prestige and money on the line and you're literally racing for a championship. Um, I thought it was a cheap shot and, and a you know, classless thing to do. You usually just go retaliate and... I'm a I don't blame you. As soon as he comes down the trailer, he's getting Hey, hey, come here. It did suck. And it was wrong, and he said it was wrong. You just get over it. By the way... Yeah? I've got a good hot rod. I bet you do. Yes. God, you're excited about it. Yeah, and, and confident about it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the thing is knowing that you've got a car and teammates that go out and, and win these races and are capable of winning these races. At this point in my career, it just seems like it's it's the best opportunity I've ever had to go out and compete for these wins. And, right during your prime, man. Win that championship. I won that Xfinity championship, and that was gratifying and all, but I want to win the Daytona 500 before I quit and I want to win a championship. This is the place right here that I'm going to be able to do it at. Thanks for the ride. Thanks, brother. Good luck this year. Good to see you.